like said, it will give you, the animations will give kind of life, look and feel for the elements. Because I can show you later, the elements are quite static. But about the animations, they're both blessing, blessing and a curse. What I mean with this is kind of, you can overuse the animations. You can make the feel, look and feel go worse by animating too much or too delayed animations or too long animations. So although they will give you more power and the power of the design, for the designers as well, they will of course have some limitations. So I also tell a story from a designer's perspective. I used to be a user interface designer like 20 years ago before I started with JavaScript. I don't know why I started with JavaScript, because I was happy before that. <laughs> but what's the designer's idea is he or she wants to help you and the users. He wants to help developers to make cool layouts, cool applications, and the users to feel them. You may have heard like Photoshop, Sketch, and then the tools like Zeppelin, Figma, InVision, and all of these kind of weird words and terms from the designers. And of course there are tools like Framer, Framer X, which is, seems to be quite in a hype. But these tools won't solve the final problem because this is what we usually get. A static layout with some simple UI elements like text inputs or text fields and buttons. It's many times the conversation or the interaction between the designer and the developer for some reason will end up in here. It's unfortunate, but that's when I try to emphasize the human interaction. So now I have to make some swipes. Let's hope they work. Cool and cool. This is my application. I made it by myself based on the layout. It looks cool and it looks very feasible and it's actually a working application. I'm going to show you some things. And now the user will log in. Oh my. As you can see, the whole situation is that very poor considering the user's perspective. There's no any kind of interaction except you get some error, weird error message from the back end at some point. So now usually both the developers and designers, they have a fantastic idea. Let's have a application with login container and there we will have this is a bit funny we will have the lo login element and we will I can see the screen on here so this is So this is live coding at its best. So now there will be more interaction when we go. Cool, the loading, loading indicator, and now the user should be happy, but no, there are more, more things to apply. 
And this was only an animated GIF, as you might know from the 2003 when they got more popular. I don't know why they are still used, but at some point they will make people happy. Anyway, the first animation library I will represent three of them is the animated API from React Native, then the reanimated, uh, and then the Lotti from Airbnb. So the APIs for the first one, for the animated API, is quite simple. Many of you have seen it and worked with it, and it has been extended through these three and a half years. And uh, it's going in a better direction. If someone remembers from 2015, this animated experimental or experimented, experimental animated API, they can feel the pain I was feeling three years ago. Anyway, kind of we just apply or import the animated. We make uh, some magic variable with the value. Then we have some magic styling referring to the magic variable, and then we do the magic. It could be any kind of animations like opacity, translations, or, tra or transitions. But these all are quite, the point is, they are quite simple to achieve. So the reason I'm talking about this is that there's no high barrier to start animating. The U designers were a bit rough, and then they required me to do some animations. So I will show you what I did for them. Yes, that was perfect. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> yes, I need to animate it, but... It wasn't about animating background color, the effect, but let's move on. I don't want to be stuck in here. Okay, now it should be better. Let's hope so at least. Now I added, this was the third part of adding disabled button. When, so when we don't have any credentials entered, we will have the button as disabled. So this was the requirement from the designers because, and the backend developers because they got so many unnecessary calls. So this is, was animated from gray to blue. And now I'm getting this again. It's funny that that never happens when you're trying to buy it yourself. Okay, this goes too complicated, not for me, but if people are shouting things, 
I go. So you mean like I would interpolate with the native driver? No. Oh my, it works. Thank you, community. I don't know why it worked on my machine, or oh, this is my machine still, but <laughs> it used to work. Anyway, we added the animation of pushing the button. And as well, I added an animation of interpolating the color between gray and blue. For some reason, it Too fast. <laughs> My point was to tell about interpolation, but maybe it's not necessary because it didn't work as expected. <laughs> the last I was using reanimated for this, but for the Low, low barrier as well. There's a reanimated has quite backward compatible API. So it's con compared to animated API, it's quite similar as you can see the code. It has some, some differences, but in general, I would say it's very close if you want to use reanimated as a simple method. Then it's possible because I made this kind of, as you can see, I'm not using it, the current API with full power. It gave me some warning, but anyway, I added one more effect to make users happier. You know this one, the shake, shake wrong password, you get the shake. That's about reanimated. Then we have still time. I will show you about Lotti. It's really uh, originally for iOS and Android, but it was made for React Native to work with React Native as well by Airbnb and. The API is quite simple, as you can see as well. But what differs the lot from animated API and reanimated is that it gives you more power, or it gives more power to the designers because the lot files are JSON that are exported from Adobe After Effects. So the designer does all the animation. You don't have to like contribute or make code level changes. There are sim there is simple API for Lottie as well, but in general, all the work is done by the designers. And I have this component called cloud, as you can see it at, the, at the top, but there was a cloud. It wasn't the image, it was all the time a lot of the animation. Now you can see the clouds are moving little by little. It's a uh, simple animation I borrowed from the internet. Well, but the idea is to demonstrate that you actually can add some sim uh, actions or feeling of the like loading screens or these kind of back moving backgrounds all kind of, you can see mostly in games, but this kind of simple login screen can also contain simple lot animations. So, despite all the problems, technical problems we had, I'm ready to make some conclusions about this. 
So the point was to, for the whole presentation was not to go to the beauty contest of coding. It was about to embrace the design and embrace the designers, like giving them a full warm feeling that you love their job and what they are they doing. Because most of the time, the, like I said earlier, you will get the static layout and you have to figure it out or give, by given time, given timeline, you will either implement it very quickly, like I implemented that one in a couple of hours, or you can really give it love and share the love between the designers and developers and the users. And it's also about respecting users. You know, Jani told, talked earlier in the morning about you and the users as well. And I'm always giving respect to the users. When, whenever I'm doing something with React Native, I always think it through the users, not just like a task to do from left to right in the task board. Okay, but thank you very much and for all the uh, support with, with, with my broken code and you, will be, you have been a wonderful audience for this. Thank you.